So in this question, we want to know which of the following graphs best shows a strong negative association between D and T. And to have a strong negative association, it basically says as one quantity goes up, the other one goes down. And for it to be strong, we want the dots to be bunched close together. And again, you can think about negative as being like a negative slope. You know, So a, a line that has negative slope is pointing down as you move left to right. So answer choice A, they're all kind of spread out. There's not really you know, uh, any sort of strong association at all between the dots. Everything's kind of all over the place. Answer choice B, um, you know, that has a positive association. Because, again, the dots are slowly trending upwards. Same thing with answer choice C. Answer choice D would be the correct answer because, again, the dots are all um, very close together. And as the value on the horizontal axis, as the values of little d get bigger, the, uh, the vertical axis, t, those values are getting smaller, smaller, smaller. And again, you can think, you know, if I tried to put a, a line... You know, if I tried to fit a line somehow um, through those dots, I would probably make it look something like that, you know, roughly. And again, this line has negative slope, and the dots are, are very close to it. So I probably could have made a slightly better looking line there. Um, but again, that's the basic idea. You want them to be bunched close together. That gives it a strong association. And um, again, you want them to, the dots to, to basically move down as you move to the right. So that gives you the negative association.